all right guys welcome back to another video here on the channel so today's video we're gonna be replacing our airbag once again on my z71 single cab you guys know before i had this airbag on with the ss logo well guys change of plans again by the way i still have it here let me show y'all this is the old one um you know i got tired of it you know since i already have a real ss why do i have a clone might as well go back to the z71 look with the headrest oem and everything as well be doing the cluster um back to black with the transmission gauge added on soon so stay tuned for that but yeah drop a like subscribe if you guys are gonna enjoy this video if any uh sponsor company wants to sponsor me this channel my business emails down below in the description as well my social media is down below so yeah with that being said uh where did i get this you guys are gonna ask uh here's his information this is the old one this is the old one i had and this is the new one uh here is his information guys it just came in today it's on instagram if you guys want to go get one that's his instagram nbs underscore gdubb uh, and then he gives you instructions as well how to uh, take it off how to put it on and stuff like that the right way so yeah drop a like, subscribe y'all or uh, i'm gonna show y'all because i already did it like i'm gonna show y'all how to do it how to take it out how to put it back on so drop a like subscribe if you guys are gonna enjoy this video and with that being said let's get straight to it show you guys how to do it all right guys as well real quickly yeah take a look this is what you guys could get this is very well professionally well made like i said guys go contact him tell him brandy sent you guys look how it looks super oem um so that's what the sticker looks like so like i said you guys could buy any logo you want i don't know if he does custom orders but he has his ss logo intimidator ss uh rst uh, uh design so drop a like subscribe y'all check him out and yeah with that being said let's go ahead and uh and as well very affordable price very 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 affordable price i'm pretty sure everybody watching this video could easily afford this because he is a great person very affordable price he got so drop a like subscribe, check it out let's show you guys how to do this let's go all right guys so here we are in the truck as you guys can see this is a steering wheel that i had and bro you see how like the logo has like not glue it has like adhesive on it and basically this is the oh i still got it in good this is the one i had that says like i said i'm going a different route now um you know i'm going full z71 on this truck now it just looks better and more unique since i already have a real ss i don't want two of the same thing so yeah this is how i had it bro this is not the way you do it yes it sticks on guys but it'll literally fall apart because it's not put on right so we're gonna do it the right way take it all apart which I already bought it like that which i showed you guys I already bought the whole steering wheel i mean the airbag put on so i don't have to deal with that all i gotta deal with myself is putting the airbag itself so so to yeah we're disconnecting the battery but use that and there's the screws for the battery so make sure you turn off your battery bro because if not, not both of them just to be safe than sorry disconnect both terminals positive and negative on the battery so now i'm using this i don't know what this is but just use like a skinny screwdriver and you see the holes right here there's a hole on the right side as well you just click it at the same time the air the airbag will come off so let me do that right now i don't i can't do it while record look you know the battery is like off when if you honk you could honk as well just to drain all the battery of the airbag just to be in case just in case but everything should be off so now let me just take it off and i'll get back to y'all it's hot out here too so i'm gonna take this off like i said you gotta do both of them at the same time click it and pull it out all right guys so as you guys can see we took it off um now you just gotta take these pins out like i said carefully just you don't want to break the tabs you just pinch it out and it disconnects so like i said nothing will matter because the battery's off guys but just to be safe make sure you do both of the terminals on the battery like i said it's better to be safe than sorry guys so take off both terminals of the battery and take these pins out nothing will happen and now like that you have your steering wheel you can even put a custom steering wheel all you gotta do is take this bolt out and the spring if you wanted a whole new steering wheel so now this is the main focus all we gotta do is take this apart carefully unscrew these bolts and then put back the other original one that i bought and put put the airbag on that one so let me go do that for you guys showcase it and i'll show you guys the bolt size and all that so drop a like subscribe let's go ggs coming along 
All right, guys, so here we are inside. Bro, it is too hot outside, so this is what it looks like. By the way, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter um, to take it off, the bolts. This is a 10, right? What is the, bro, I can't even see, there it is. Bro, doesn't even focus, but yeah, it's a 10 millimeter right there. Y'all see the 10? So you're gonna use all four of these. One, two, three, four. Literally just turn it, and here's the instructions. Uh, they'll email you. I mean, they'll send you. Like I said, that's his Instagram at Brandy YT. Go check him out. Mine's Brandy YT. That's his Instagram. So yeah, like I said, as you know, option number one. You know, it just says to remove it gently. Though, well, after this step, you're gonna want to do it gently. So this is how you do it, guys. Sorry, there's an echo. Like I said, bro, if you do everything gently, the airbag will not unfold. Do not, dude, you want to do these jobs patiently, bro. You do not want to be in a rush. Anything you do, bro. So literally all you're doing is unscrewing these. So for this one, all right, let me take all them out and I'll show you all this. I need a pressure. All right, let me show you when they're all off. All right, guys, so this is how, like, you got to pick it up. Once you remove the those things, you just want to pick it up slowly. It's going to be attached to these on the sides. You just pick this up slowly and this metal piece will come off. So now you're basically on the final step. You just want to, these come off like easily. They're not like, they're tabs, but like they're rubber tabs. So they come off easily, but you want to remove, you see how like easy it is. You want to remove all like tabs all at once where you can easily take off the airbag. But like I said, do this patiently for you won't unfold the airbag guys. So. Like I said, as long as you're doing this uh, like tight and slow, you're good to go. So let me do it because I can't do a recording. Just literally take all these tabs out like this and like grab it with your hand, like with your other hand too, and like take it off like off the airbag. All right, so let me show you when I'm back. All right, guys, we did everything safe and sound. As you guys can see, we have the airbag out. Like I said, if you did everything carefully, this is what a non- used airbag looks like it's not used it's ready to be used i took it off carefully and like i said this is the old one it does not bro just compare that bro look at that oh my days just compare look at that compare which one's better man this one's like so much better and person to that they're the same airbag designs but even this one's like darker dude i love this new one so if you wanted to switch it out you would just take these pins out remove this old logo and like i said you can order one from him on instagram at right there and you could even order your own emblem which he has and you guys could just put that one on um but i just got it from him like that ready to go because i like it like that but like i said i could have done this one too but Shout out to him for sending me this one too. So I appreciate you, man. So with that being said, guys, we're gonna we're gonna put how do you say it? we're gonna put everything back together. Um, install. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna put everything all together, and then I'll get back to the truck. Uh, same how the truck was sim simple and easy. So let me know what y'all think. Drop a like, subscribe, guys. And yeah, I'll show you when it's everything's together. All right, guys, we're back at the truck. It is hotter inside of the truck than outside, guys. Like I said, we got everything well put back together. Just reverse everything back as I showed y'all how to do it. Just put everything back together. Everything should be clipped on. Now we got to connect these wires back. Uh, which let me see if I could do on camera. Thing is, I it's like it's not it's too, it's too tight. Uh, let's see if I could do. It. Yeah, it is too tight. So I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Connect the obviously pink on pink, white on white, and then clip it back on. All right, guys, we got it put well together. Like I said, just put on the clips back on the wire. Literally just snaps on. Make sure both sides are in the airbag, like on the wheel, good. Like make sure it's straight right here. Cause I remember before this air, but when I had this airbag right here, like the the right side was like off, cause I didn't push all the way. So before you connect your battery, your battery back, make sure you like 
get your like your hand and like push it in good make sure it's straight you see like i said i had a, like a, a gap on before this one because it was out i didn't snap it on together so just use your hand and like snap it on you'll hear like click you hear that like you'll hear that click make sure it's good and dude honestly looks way better man super way better um like i said now i'm gonna connect the battery uh make sure the honk works my honk has been like super quiet it might be because i need a new battery and my battery late my battery light came on so i think the alternator is like good enough to recharge the battery but that battery is drained out for sure it's because I remember when I bought this truck, the owner was like, let's hope it starts because I haven't started it up in a while. So the battery was probably like, it's probably not, it's not old, but it is old, probably like three plus years already with that battery. So probably gonna have to buy a battery now. So dude, this looks super clean. Like, oh my days, I did a great job. I'm happy. Like I said, once I get that black face cluster, everything's gonna look right. So now I'm gonna uh, turn the truck on and like show you how the honk works and stuff like that. Make sure everything's right all right guys so we got the truck turned on let me show y'all so i don't like i said i don't know if my battery is good it starts up first try by the way i think we could close it it is hot and next up guys i want to change my ground wires so stay tuned for that yeah th it is too hot right now i don't even want to leave it running it is hot i mean even in the shade and it's hot so as well look so like I said, I got my check engine light cleared off because I added my catalytic converters to get an emissions test the other week ago. So that's all. But the next thing I want to do, guys, is I don't know why my turn signals are turned on on my cluster. They're not even on. See, this is turned on now. See, it works normally. I might have a bad ground. That's why the turn signals are on. If not, I'm going to test this cluster on my SS, see if the cluster light turns on on that truck. And then the airbag switch, that's from the passenger. I don't know, it's probably a bad ground as well. But take a look. We got the airbag put on. Literally looks great. So, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know, is it me or like the left side looks more of a gap? So let's beep, see if it works. Say it works. See it works. So, that's strong light too, so. We got the airbag, it looks cleaner, better than last time. Like I said, see look, when the cluster lights off, like when I press the brakes, the light turns on, look, you see that? I'm pressing the brakes. So it has to be a bad ground, maybe a bad wire. But overall, I'm happy with this airbag, way better, dude. Back to the SS, original look, man. So drop a like, subscribe, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Or see, even when I honk, the lights turn on. So I don't know, man. Drop a like, subscribe. I'm going to catch on the next one. Probably later on we'll fix it. And with that being said, I'll catch on the next one. This thing looks insane. I don't know. It looks like there's a gap here, though. I don't know. I got to see how my SS went. But overall, I'm happy. Way better than this, man. I'm happy. Drop a like, subscribe, y'all. I'm going to catch on the next one. Drop a like, subscribe. I'm out. GG's.